Uh, so this question comes from Smith something or other if. Um, I've been watching your videos for a bit and I see you keep saying computer repair is slowly fading. Slowly, huh? <laughs> I say it's slowly fading? Yeah, okay. Uh, B.I. being an unemployed veteran, am looking to find a new solid career. I've been going through Code Academy and I'm interested in a coding boot camp. Our company's hiring these graduates. Bum, bum, bum. So that's always the question, right? Are people actually hiring the graduates of coding boot camps? Um, and the answer is, the kind of sort of answer is, yes, they are hiring um, the, the people who come out of the, the people that graduate from coding boot camps. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into that. I mean, you have to be very, very, very careful. Uh, one of the first things that I'll say with people graduating and getting jobs in coding boot camps, and when they talk about the statistics, they talk about how many people are employed, is so you have to be careful about what they're employed as. Um, I've looked into this a lot, and if you see their marketing materials, they'll tell you what the employment after graduation rate is after, let's say, 90 days or something like that. One of the things they don't break down is what the hell those people are actually doing. Right? If you go through a coding boot camp, um, and then you go work for a startup company, and basically you're like an admin assistant... I'm not really sure what that coding book boot camp did for you, but as far as the statistics are concerned, you are employed, <laughs> all right? Uh, so you gotta be really careful about those numbers. So the first thing you have to worry about is when you look at coding boot camps and whether or not people are hiring is what are these people actually getting hired for? If they're not getting hired for coding jobs, then again, why did they just pay 20 grand for a coding boot camp? Uh, the next thing you have to think about is whether or not uh, you will actually make it through the coding boot camp. Again, coding boot camps um, suck. Uh, one of the problems that I see with coding boot camps is that coding boot camps, uh, in a lot of ways, are very much like boot camp. Uh, you know, I, army. I was in army. I was in basic training, and I have to be honest with you. Basic training is a piss poor way to train people. Basically what basic training does, really does, and this is what people don't really talk about, is what they're trying to do is they're trying to grind out all the people that they do not think will make it a soldier. So, uh, you know, when I went through basic training, we lost somewhere between one quarter to one third of our trainees in my platoon due to all kinds of just weird, stupid injuries that could have been prevented if they didn't try to uh, basically pound people into to the, to the pavement or into the ground so quickly. Um, even in my generation, I can't imagine what the millennials are going through in the military uh, at this point. But my generation, I mean, Gen X, again, I mean, we, we lost a lot of people simply for what, what are called stress fractures. So stress fractures ugh, is basically when, you know, when you're out there marching and when you're running and doing all that kind of stuff, if your bones are not used to that stress, they actually start fracturing just from that constant impact. So imagine your bones literally slowly fracturing themselves, um, which, which doesn't need to happen. This isn't osteoporosis and kids or anything like that. It is simply you have kids that have played way too many video games and not been out of the woods enough. Uh, their bones aren't used to it, and so they just, they just fracture. Um, the problem is, is that, well, the thing with it is, is if you gave them enough time, it wouldn't happen. If, if basic training or if training was six months instead of two, uh, well, not even two, it's eight weeks, um, it, would give, it would give these people's bodies enough time to get up to speed, but they just don't give them enough time, and so sadness ensues. Uh, the same kind of thing is true with these coding boot camps. Again, graduation. If you graduate, how many people get employed? Well, the thing is, is if they have you working 10 or 12 hours a day coding, that is a grind. That is grueling. That is nasty. That is hard. That is difficult. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of good people can't keep up with that schedule. Again, if you go into a boot camp uh, for two, two months or three months, I mean, what happens if you get sick while you're in the boot camp? What happens if your spouse gets sick in the boot camp? What happens if you get a stress fracture? 
you know, I don't know, you break your leg or something during the boot camp. What if you just get depressed during the boot camp? Any of these things, right? And it's just so 100 miles an hour that, that are you actually going to finish the boot camp? And then the final thing, again, like I say with all these boot camps, is do you actually want to do it? Um, I know it seems weird that I say this, you know, Eli the computer. <laughs> it's kind of funny that Eli the computer guy, the guy that makes all of his money creating YouTube videos uh, about how, how to make money off of technology, one of the things I say is so often, is are you sure you want to be here <laughs> right uh, I mean being a technology professional is you got to be you got to got to deal with the world in a certain way and it's a way a lot of people don't want to deal with the world right and so one of the problems also I have with going to these boot camps is again a lot of people have this idea that you know it's about discipline it's about discipline and it's about intelligence and it's about just getting it done um, and here's the thing. No, a lot of it is, you know, when you're doing this, uh, does it make you happy? Does it make you excited? Does it make you feel good? Do you want to do this again tomorrow? Or does it just feel tedious and horrible, right? Uh, you dive into a boot camp and you might find out you really, really, really hate this. So you being a veteran, you being a veteran, uh, my concern here is that you want to jump into a coding boot camp because your VA benefits may actually, in fact, pay for it. Mm hmm um, what I would argue, if you have any VA benefits, why are they VA benefits? You know, GI Bill, college fund, whatever the hell that stuff's called nowadays. I would argue, go to college. Go to college. Take the time, take the energy, go get a college. I would argue boot camps are good. Boot camps are good for people who already have a college degree. You already got a four-year degree. You don't want another four-year degree or a year to, to get another four-year degree. Go to a boot camp. That, those type of people, fine, go to a boot camp. Uh, other types of people, me, right, Eli the computer guy, you know, all these specialties and IT and surveillance systems and all that kind of stuff. If I decided I want to be Eli the code guy, right, I already know this field. I already know what to expect when I get out. I already have, I already know people that will hire me. X, Y, Z. So basically I look at it and I say, well, I could either spend a year teaching myself or I could go into a boot camp and do it. I might as well go into a boot camp and do it. Somebody like that, I would do it. Uh, for most other people, again, I would go for the college degree. Frankly, I would go to a public university. I would get an associate's degree in computer science um, and go from there. I do believe, I, I believe, in my opinion, opinion, my opinion, um, uh, I do believe a lot of these boot camps are a crock of crap. Um, again, because it's just that whole idea of boot camp. Boot camp is a fundamentally stupid idea. The only reason boot camps and basic training um, kind of sort of make sense for the military is because they're the military, right? I mean, you're training people how to kill other people. You know, so there is there is an understandable amount of not just wanting to grind people out um, to, to get them gone, but also to get people used to watching uh, the people that they care about get ground down. I mean, I mean, you want to strengthen people. You really want to strengthen people, have them stand by as they see their buddies just get horrible, nasty injuries that they're never going to recover from, right? It just changes you a little bit inside, right? But So that makes sense for the military. But like the military is about one of the only places it makes sense. Most of these other boot camps, it's just kind of stupid. Again, you know, I was, I was a product of one of these boot camps, the MCSE boot camp way back when. And so unfortunately, this is what I say. A lot of people look at me and go, well, look, you're a product of the boot camp. Look at you, right? You know? And what I keep trying to tell people is like, yeah, well, you know, there were like 24, 25 people in my, my MCSE boot camp, uh, and two of us got our MCSEs. <laughs> that, that doesn't, that doesn't uh, equate to a good, uh, a, a good result. Um, so that's my thought. Uh, if I were you, uh, I would probably go to a public university, a public, uh, public associate's degree program, then go for a bachelor's degree program. Uh, most likely, a college degree is going to do you better all around than a coding boot camp. Um, if you do, you're like, well, Eli, I just want to do a coding boot camp. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say, Eli. I'm not, I'm not asking you a question because I want your answer. <laughs> I'm asking you a question because I want you to say what I want you to say, right? So you're like, I'm going to go to a boot camp. Uh, basically, I would say if you are going to go to a boot camp, uh, I would focus on uh, boot camps. I would probably go to an area with a boot camp uh, in a, a high demand tech area. Uh, so I would not do a boot camp 
in Baltimore, to be honest with you. I would not do a coding boot camp in Baltimore. Um, I would do a coding boot camp in the San Francisco, Silicon Valley area. I would do a coding boot camp in Austin. I would do a coding boot camp in Seattle. I would do a coding boot camp uh, probably in New York, um, and then go around and find other hotbeds of places where they need coding. Uh, because again, I mean, the big thing with all these coding boot camps and all that is basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get around HR, you're trying to get hired. Right? So if you go to a coding boot camp in a place in a high demand area, it's a hell of a lot more likely that you will in fact get a job. And not only that, but while you're there, you'll meet other people, you'll discuss things, maybe do field trips and informational interviews and all that kind of stuff, and you're just far more likely to have success. And you do a coding boot camp in Detroit, and that's what I hate too, is like we've gotten to this point, coding boot camps in Detroit. Don't take a coding boot camp in Detroit. It's just like, it's Detroit! <laughs> Yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, again, you can be an MIT PhD grad, but if there's no jobs for you, who the hell cares? Um, so that would be my, my big argument, is if you are going to go for a coding boot camp, find a reputable one in a city with a large, large, large tech scene. Like I said, I wouldn't even do a coding boot camp here in the Baltimore area. Um, again, Austin... Seattle, San Francisco, New York, maybe Boston. Again, do a little bit of research on it, uh, but that's my thought. But realistically, realistically, at the end of the day, especially if you have veterans benefits, go for a college degree. Go for a college degree. My opinion is a college degree. That's, that's all I'm saying.